Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Uh, today I'm in my IS-7, platooned up with Federian, and he's in his IS-4. Uh, if you've seen previous video of us in Himmelsdorf, um, I talked about us. These being our first tier 10 tanks that we ever had, um, and usually we make magic in this. Unfortunately, um, it's not going to be like a platoon carry or anything, um, but once again, Scorpion Pass, I just seem to have a lot of success on this map. Um, we're assaulting, and one of the things you definitely want to do is get uh, advanced position whenever you're assaulting. However, you want to be smart about it and make sure that uh, you got tanks backing you up. And it's a always a risk that you take when you start take an advanced location um, because if your team ends up not pushing up into sight lines that you're spotting for um, that's essentially the red team's going to figure that out and they're going to be able to wipe you out so I get up here I get tracked by a 183 um, as well as a T10 that took an advanced location um, type 5 Jaeger 183 T10 are here I already takes care of the 183. Now the STI is behind me. I'm not going to give him this corner. So what I'm trying to do is just get shots into the Yagaru's lower plate, um, and as well as this mouse is starting to pop up too now. So I got shot into the mouse's lower plate, and this T10 just keeps on coming over here to track me, which is fine. To me, he's not really that much of a threat because um, he's not stopping us from keeping their team lit, which is essentially going to get us to move forward. So. I spot this object 140 as I aim on him. I see he's got three stars on his barrel, so he's a good player. I also notice he's in the NFTG clan, and they're a good clan, so um, I know that I gotta watch out for him. I also communicate that to Thedirian that he's a really good player. Um, and then he's also platooned up with that 105, so they abandon here, which to me is a questionable play, um, even though we're making a a solid advance we still have to deal with this Yagru and this mouse and I felt like had they stayed um, up around like my left side they could potentially get some damage into our side however they would have had to deal with the stuff coming out of the middle too so I mean I don't really blame them but they're full health so they're not even going to trade any of their health to keep these guys alive and to get free shots into the side of us Alright, so one thing that gets you a loss on Scorpion Pass is when they're set up on the ridge and then you just continue to push into them. Um, so what you want to do is make sure you keep some people up on this ridge to counter their ridge um, and then also make sure you got spotters in the bottom. So our IS-7 rams this mouse, he takes 1200 damage and our their mouse only takes 100 damage. Uh, ramming a mouse is obviously never a good idea. Especially downhill full speed. It's just not a win-win situation. So, the Darian pushes out to south the bottom and I tell him I'm gonna stay up top. So they have a, an Artie and I got Artie's spotted I'll be able to take him down to shut him down they have a bad chat and a patent platooned up as well as the 140 with the 105 so we got two on right now and they're gonna have to come back to reset so this 105 starts coming back I get a tracking shot in him and then Thyderian's gonna shut him down and now this 140 shuts down our bat chat. And I'm gonna try to get a ram in here. Uh, the IS-7's a really good ramming tank. 
and I got his side, I got his track off, and I was looking down the barrel there, not realizing that I was backing into a rock, so I fluffed my shot and ended up getting our scout killed, um, all because I wasn't paying attention, and that's why I don't have three stars on my barrel, so <clears throat> lock in my third kill, uh, you can see I got 12 spotted target hits, and at this point, um, we're going to let them decide what they want to do. Do they want to win the game, or do they want to just stay alive? So, um, tell Thedirian, let's get uh, on base and make them come to us. We do our one kill away from a brothers in arms. I start to leg out a little bit here, so I end up running into them. And then you can see their bat chats crossing the little desert hill right there. I get them tracked, but unfortunately, Thedirian just shot at the Patton right as I tracked him. So, kind of miss out on a brothers in arms there, but um, not nothing too exciting at this point. Um, they're going to choose to cap. Um, I did get off the cap just to see if maybe they'd come back, and they, they don't, so... That's fine. I mean, not everybody plays to win the game. Some some people play to stay alive for some reason. You don't want your tank to die and blow up. It's sad. End game stats. Oops. I got 2,700 damage. Um, and then, really, the big thing there is 5,200 assisted in an IS7. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, that's really all I got for you guys. So, I will uh, catch you later. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.